It's 942 2020. What a roller coaster year. Dramatically changing how we do a lot of things, including how you date. We're still in the middle of this pandemic, but many people are really optimistic. They're thinking 2021 is the year they're going to find love. And joining me live with some new trends emerging in the dating world is Claire O'Connor. She is the head of editorial content at the popular online dating app Bumble. Is this the year for love, do you think? You know, I think so, and it looks like our community thinks so. Uh, we've done some recent research, um, and, you know, the majority of our community is saying that they think 2021 is their year to find love. So I think after being in lockdown, a mm -hmm. lot of the folks at home for the better part of a year, um, it seems like a bit of a reset. I think so, too. They're like, get me a vaccination and let me get out there into the dating world. Let's talk a little bit, though, about some of the specifics when you're thinking about trends. I mean, it's not like we can say, hey, you know, jump right back out there right now, but there are ways to do things. So what are you seeing as far as trends go right now? You're absolutely right. Um, I think, you know, the pandemic is not over just because you want it to be uh, still safety first. Um, and we've seen we, we've been very heartened by our community's response to this. 55% um, are taking much longer to meet for the first time when they match with someone, whereas in the past, in the before times, it might be swipe, match, send a couple messages, then go mm -hmm. immediately to mm -hmm. happy hour or to an art gallery or something. And now, you know, it could be months and months of um, video dates and phone calls and really getting to know someone. We call it slow dating. Um, and it's building intimacy and trust um, and really sitting and being intentional about what it is that you want and not rushing into anything. Which should be a good thing, right? We all need a little bit more of that. I'm wondering, too, if you're going to have, you know, dating sites now, you're like COVID positive, um, you know, COVID recovered or have not had COVID yet. I mean, you know what I mean? You're starting to think about things where people are probably going to be asking that. If they're COVID recovered, then they're going to feel a little bit more, um, you know, less nervous about getting out there. You know, interesting you say that. We recently put together a very comprehensive digital guide to dating in 2021. And as you can imagine, COVID and the pandemic are very much at the forefront of that. Um, and we spoke to a number of experts about, you know, the steps you should really take, um, including treating, you know, you've got to think of COVID mm -hmm. perhaps as you would any other kind of easily transmitted disease or infection. Um, so you should really check out bumble.com slash dating guide. Um, where we've got everyone from epidemiologists to sexologists mm. uh, giving advice on how exactly you should approach dating after the pandemic or, you know, during the pandemic before it ends. All right, so we're almost out of time. I want you to give me maybe, you know, one or two last pieces of advice as people do kind of go into the dating world and they're trying to get things, you know, on the right track. Sure. Well, first download Bumble, um, then fill out your whole profile. Use every word in that bio. Um, and the same goes for photos. We allow you to upload six, so upload all of those. And make sure the first one is your face, hopefully with a smile, <laughs> show your eyes, and then wait till a little later on in the profile to include those group, friend, and family photos. Yes, all right, make sure that and you're allowed to smile in these as you can't on your driver's license, but these you can, so go for it. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. If you'd like to learn more about all of what we're just talked about, fox59.com slash links. Nice.